So we're going to take a breath in to a breath out. So just real easy to start. And just position that chair. If you need to adjust it, do so. Okay, next for a little deeper for four, three, two, one. From here, step out a little wider. So keep your feet facing forward and we'll take your arm out. Four, three, and now we go deeper. So go to where suits you, check those knees. One more, now you're gonna bring the feet together and the arms gonna keep a little higher. So we've got eight here. Connect your ankles, press the knees, shoulders stay down. Now turn out into first position, we're going to go out. Here we go. Another four, you can go slightly deeper, make sure your heels stay together. Okay, now take it out into second position and you're going to take the arm up here. So imagine you're sliding down that brick wall. So maintain that length through the spine. Bring it back to centre. Bring the feet into first position. Now you're going to side bend. So we're going to go here. Seven. Six. We've got another five. Four. Three. Two and one. Okay, now you're going to go back out into that second position and you're going to turn into the bar and open. Two. Now keep the knees facing forward or to the sides even and turn your body. So we've got another four and you should be picking up that inner thigh line already. Three. Look where you're going. Two and one. Bring it back to centre. Okay, we're going to reverse that so you can just flip around the other side. Okay, bring your feet now, parallel position. So this time we're going to go a little raise onto the balls of the feet. So from here, raise the heels as you go. Now when you do this, just watch, you're not pushing the knees excessively forward. So you've probably got another four, three, two. Work through the whole of that foot line. One more. Okay, still in a parallel, but go wide, and then we're going to go onto the heels here. For eight, seven, six. And you should feel that connection towards those lower abdominals. Four, three. Stay with this. Two, one. Now you're going to go feet together, and then we raise. So we go eight, seven, breathe. How are we feeling? Three. Stay with this. Now we're going to turn out and we're going to get again. Uh, oh, we don't go again from here. So from this position, open, close. So keep your feet off the floor this time if you can. Don't put those heels down. Oh, I can't see my heels on the camera, but I'm hoping that I am <laughs> on camera. Just use this as your warm up. One more, different today. Okay, now take it out. You can take the arm above the head if you like here. So we're gonna go eight. Bend, straighten. Five. Keep the neck long, chin on the shelf. Watch that arm bone as it creep into the ear. Four, three, two, and one. Now stay here. You're gonna come to the side from second position. So we go. Breathe in, breathe out. In four, three, two, one. Okay, from where you are, let's go into your rotation. So sink down. So we're going to turn and release. Seven, six, get ahead of myself there. Five, four, Watch this outside knee isn't turning in. Keep both knees out. So it's the torso, that little rib cage, you spiral around the spine. Two, one. Okay, now you can come and face the um, chair. So from here, let's take our right knee, lift, back into a lunge, lift. Two. 
three. So focus on that hip extension on that back leg. Now take your arm off, we go. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna change legs, so leg only. So we lift, step back. Now your option is just not to step as far. So if this range of movement is better for you, go here. Now take the arm, so you're gonna lift. And stay with this. And one more. Bring it back to centre. From here, raise up onto the balls of your feet. Send your sternum and your chest to the sky. Lengthen. Then release. Bend the elbows. Little spinal curl. Just a half curl. Watch your head on the chair. And then open. Raise up, lengthen, sternum test. Lower down, roll. You can go a little lower. Uncurl, sternum chest to sky. Drawing those heel bones in so the ankles aren't rolling out. Now let go of the chair. Roll a little further, three quarters. Up to the top. Hands on the chair. Take your right arm off or lengthen if you want more. Hand comes back down lower. Release arm line. Three quarter roll down or go a little further, maybe to the ankles. Uncurl your spine, hands to chair, take the opposite arm away if you want a little more length. Mindful of your lower back, so shooting your lower back. Breathe in, breathe out, roll. Release you down. Come back up, one drink in turn. And lengthen and bring it back to centre. Okay, from here, float your right leg. We're going to take us two circles out and then we're going to do a little side lunge step. So it's two circles back, bend this knee, it's on the floor. Now go forward with the leg for one, two, and then tap out. So you can turn your standing leg out to the side. So I'll let you go this way so you can see. So two and then out and then you're going to do that on the other side so take your opposite leg two circles back this one's turned out and then you lengthen out to the side so you go back back lengthen okay and then you're going to go forward i'm just going to come here so you can see my legs for one two this one bends this one straightens last time so you can use the chair as i am or just stay the way you are Okay, bring it back to centre. So let's get into this work now. Grab a quick drink if you want to drink. I'm taking those hips, spines, different planes. So we're going to begin with the feet together. So glue your ankles, glue your knees. Are we ready? Here we go. So we've got eight. Fast. Seven. Six. Breathe in. Breathe out. For two. Hold. Now you're going to raise up onto the balls of your feet. I can go side on so you can see. Then you're going to open from the hip and then release. So it's hip extension. So you're not doing this. Don't really straighten the legs. Check you're not pushing your knees forward. So you're keeping that connection. Here we go. Lengthen. So you can keep the hand on the hip. If this wasn't good for you, then just keep your heels down. So we're going to do it to four, three. Press those knees together, everyone. Two, one, hold. Now baby pulses. Eight, seven. The knees are not going forward. Six, five. Stay that. Brush your ankles. Three, two, wait. Now heels together. Open, close like a standing clam. Two. Stay with this. Three. Drop the tailbones, everyone. Four. Arm can be up to the side. Stay with this. Okay, back to centre, don't go anywhere. Now we're gonna go quicker for eight, seven, six, five. Stay with this. Hold, baby pulse, eight, seven, six, breathe. Wait there now, quick, eight. You can take down, keep it still. Four, three, two, out and hold out. Now you're gonna pulse, we're shaking, yes, eight, 
seven, I am six, five, four, three, keep going, two, on the balls of the feet, in, down, and rest, rest it there. Good work, take a little shake out, okay, take the outside leg, take a baby stretch, so knee to knee, a lengthen. I'm hoping we're feeling this. Change your legs, so you can turn to face the bar, turn the other way, wherever you want to go. Press your foot back into your hands, your bottom, your heel isn't touching your bottom, otherwise you've got nowhere to stretch to. Okay, and then just shake it out. Right, reverse that bar. So you're on the opposite side now. From here, take the arm out. So we're going to sink, we're going to lift, we go. Seven. So similar to what we did in the warm up here, drop the shoulders. Four. Now what is happening to your feet when you come up? The heel shouldn't lower, the heel should stay still. Still in space. Use your inner thigh line, down and hold. Pulse. Two, three, four, five. Stay with this. Okay, now up to the top. Now we go a little quicker. Breathe. All the way. Hold and pulse. Two, three. Stay with this. You've got it. Six, seven, eight. Now stay here. Lower heels an inch off the floor. Then lift. Your option is to do alternates, but your pelvis stays still. Otherwise, you're on two. Lift, lower. Stay with this. Now do not give up. Four. Three, what's happened to that spine? Two, and one. Hold, pulse, two, three. Get your weight even on both legs. Four, three, two, one. Heels down and lift. Excellent, let's take the stretch slightly different. Take the foot, take the leg out to the side, open. So you can have a little rest on your bar. So the left half of your pelvis faces forward as you open into that side stretch there. And release. Changing sides, take the opposite foot into hand. Press back and open. So I've got back to you now, but just keep opening that hip. Right half of your pelvis stays facing forward. And then bring it back to centre. Little recovery, okay. Let's stay on this side. So you're going to take your outside leg from first position. You're going to come forward, I'll just show you. So you're a little turn out, centre, side, centre, back, centre. So a little turn, you turn out. There. So nice and easy to begin. And you snap that leg back in, which is almost you're turning your thigh bone. The inside of that big man, that big toe is connecting. One more here. Okay, then you can add in the arm. So we're going to go here, out, up. So we go forward, side, up. Now stay turned out on both legs here. Breathe. And we go to pick that pace up. We've got four rounds. Here we go. Four. Stay with it, a little bit of coordination, two to go. One, hold on, and bring it back. Good work. Okay, from this position, you're gonna now take it into a curtsy, into a kick. So we're gonna step back, lengthen. Breathe in, breathe out. So it's almost like that side back man, rather than your grand back man, so stay there. Four. Now can you go a little higher with that leg, sink a little deeper, and one, bringing it back to centre, good work, stay in this position, so from here, you're going to go into a plie, a releve, straighten, down, plie, releve, straighten, down, one more like this, Okay, then you can add in your arm if you like. Plie, releve, straighten, down. So it's a plie, releve, straighten, down. 
One, two, three, four. Now if we go a little quicker, so you can take your mat if you want to. Here, relevant, straight and down. Here, relevant, straight and down. Two to go. One more. Hold on. And release. Good work. Told you a little bit quicker today. <laughs> okay, take a little shake out. Let's just switch it. So obviously if it wasn't a 45 minute class, we'll spend a little bit longer on the one side, but we are switching. So stay in. <clears throat> First position for your first little set of those pandus. So we're going to go one, in, two, in, three, in. So I'm hoping you're able to stay open. You're not able to slide. Just pick the foot up ever so slightly. That's it. So we go forward. Really turn your kneecap out to the side, everyone. To work that inner line. A little bit of hip extension here. Last one, at this pace, and then add in the arm, so you can come here, side, and you can take your arm above. So whatever feels right for you, with or without the arm is fine. And we're getting warm. <laughs> Stay with it. Two more like this. Then we're gonna pick up the pace. Are you ready? We go, four. Go forward, side, back. Forward, side, back. Keep your form so you're not dragging your pelvis. You're still turning out. One to go. Are you still with me? I hope so. Bring it back to centre. Excellent. Now we're going to do our plie to renovate in second rather than first position. So from here, a little bit wider. You're still in the turnout. We often don't work that inner thigh line, the outer glute line as much as the front. This is excellent for this line. So do the plie. Releve, straighten, down. So the pattern's the same. Bend, lift, lengthen, lower. Bend, lift, lengthen, lower. Breathe. One more like this. And then you can add in the arm if you like. So, plie, releve, up, lower. So if you want to releve on the arm line, you can. And bring it there, that's fine. So plie, Releve, straighten, down. Plie, releve, lift, down. One more like this. Now we're going to pick it up. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just don't let the arm line confuse you. You can take them above the head on that second move. One, two, three, four. So you can keep the arms still. That works better for you. And release it. Excellent work. Okay, now we're going to go into your um, curtsy into a kick. So we'll go here. Just check that chair is where it needs to be. Now, can you go deeper into your curtsy, higher into your kick? You don't have to. Two, three. Keep your form. One more to the five on the other side. And rest it. Excellent. Now, keep the bar where it is. So this time, you're going to turn. Now, you can come a little bit further forward, just be careful, it depends on how high your chair is. Well, your chair's quite a bit too high, actually, but you might have to just have a bend in your elbows, otherwise you can have your arm on straight. So, I'm going to come and face you in a second. Now, from the first position, you're going to take one leg away and back in, so you're going to that grand butt mark and come this way. Okay. So, your arms can be straight if your chair's lower. If your chair isn't, <laughs> you might need to be here, so... We're going to go one and down. Now I want you to do this on a turn out again. Two, three, four. Keep going. Five, down, six, down, seven, eight. Now let go with one arm for four, three, two, one. Switch arms. Four, can you get a little higher? Three, make sure you're not tipping forward. Two, one. Now let go. Can you bring both arms either above the head or keep them down? Two, three. Here's that supremacy with balance. Four. You've got four to go. So your arms could just be at the side if you prefer. That's it. Now make sure you finish in that first position. One, two, and open. Good work. Take that little release. Okay. Going back to the bar. 
Let's face it this time. So we're going to do little step backs. So take your right leg. Step. Now remember what I said about your lunges. This might be enough for you. You don't have to go into full 90-90. So alternate. Watch that knee. Now, you're going to continue with this. Stay as far as a little bit more energetic. If you want more, you're going to jump. Make sure you land quietly. So soften the knees on landing. Let's go. Now aim for that height. We're going to go four, three, two, and one. And bring it back together. Okay, from here, everyone step back on your left leg. Sink. Raise your front heel. So if you can, your front and your back heel are both lifted. Hold on. We're going to go four, three, two, one. Now, take your left arm off the bar. Four, three. Keep your ribs over your pelvis. Two, one. Hold. Other arm comes away. Can you balance this? For four, three, two, one, and then step it in. Great work, let's switch it. Shoulders, pelvis square, knees, let's look after them. So you've got singles. Then you can keep the foot down or you can keep the heels lifted if you can on the front. Four, three. So it's that vertical plane. One more here. Hold, take away right arm, we go. Four, stay with the strength. Three, ankle stability. Two, one. Now challenge it. Can you take the other arm away? You don't have to. Four, breathe, control. And lower down and step in. Excellent work. Okay, take a little shake out. So from there, we're going to just change it slightly. So you're going to bring your feet back into first position. So from here, you can, oh, you can do this actually facing the bar. I'm just going to come this way to So from here, we're going to either do a baby bend, step out together, and you'll be facing your bar so the chair won't be in the way. Bend together. So this might be your option. So you can do a bend together, bend together. Now you can have that leg straight or bend as you step out. So you could have a wider plie here. Otherwise, you're going to go into a little jump. So you're going to jump, land together. Okay, so you're going to choose. You're going to go option here or you're going to do singles. So if you're doing singles, out. I'd probably bend both knees. So you're stepping out, step together, step out. Step together, so facing your bar, here, or we are jumping. So let's go, I hope you're going. Eight, seven, bend the knees on landing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So a little bit more energetic to get that bar. Okay, take a little shake out. So let's take this into a stretch. So, this is really relaxed moment. Let's just bring that inner thigh lying along. Now you could use the top of your bar as well. So this is like your middle option if you like. So she says falling over. Okay, lengthen, breathe in, breathe out. So you could stretch from here. That's the one we did. Don't use your chair. Come here, so we're coming over that line. Or you could use the top of your chair. So wherever you want to go, find your stretch position, just check the ribs aren't turning in, and then we're going to open, lengthen. Now don't fall over, we're going to go the other way. Watch that chair doesn't lift back. For two, and three. Here's the dynamic stretch. One more. I hope you can feel that down the side line. <laughs> Excellent, okay. And wherever you are, turn to face your chair. So both feet are facing forward, going into that hamstring stretch to lengthen and lift up and over. So you can bring yourself down if you feel like you need to, to get more stretch. You can stay with the longer spine. 
if you're not using your chair, that's fine. Come here. You can also have a baby bend in the front leg, just stay in your stretch wherever you are. Or you can go somewhere halfway house. So we're here. So whatever feels right for you. Now wherever you are, we'd like you to breathe in and breathe out as you come over that leg. So we're gonna inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, reach. One more. Nice, okay, release. Let's do that on the opposite side. So inner thigh stretch first. So turn that left foot out, right heel back. This could be your option. You can have your foot on the chair or that halfway house on the front of that chair. So keep the one foot facing forward, little turn out, so the kneecap faces the sky. Then you're going to reach and just hold your position, drop the top shoulder, turn that rib cage, find that length. Okay, now we're going to reach over and lengthen. This is bringing in that internal oblique work here. Control, one, breathe in, breathe out, reach long. How are we going? Are we okay? One more to go. Lifting up and lengthen. Yes. Okay, turn to face the bar. Both feet face forward. It's not about how far you go actually into this. You always want to keep a lift and keep a length. And then we're thinking about putting the left half of your pelvis back as you send the right half forward. That will keep the integrity through your length through that stretch, so we're here. You know you can use the floor. This is absolutely fine. This position, or your option is your foot on the lower part of the chair. So stay wherever suits you. So we start with that static stretch. And then we're gonna make it dynamic. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen. Inhale. So your feet should both be facing the same way. The knees most certainly should, and the pelvis. So this is a good, when we line up in some of these stretch distance, we can see if we've got slight asymmetry in the body as to where it does or doesn't like to go. Breathe in, lengthen, just breathe out. One more. Inhale, exhale, and carefully come off. Okay, now, you might want your, you definitely want your chair still. You may want your mat for your feet. High lift you just watching up and slip. Now let's do a little bit of conditioning for the upper body. So we're going to go into dips here. So here on the hand is going to be into the um, chair. Now again, if it's not good to use your chair, or your chair's too high, etc. <laughs> come on the floor, look, fingertips face you, and do it here, either one with feet down, two, see how the bottom's lifted, but make sure you push up into your lower back. So that would be an option today. I'd rather you do body weight and pick up your weights. So if you can do any of those, obviously if you've got wrist issues, then by all means get your weights and do your triceps here, okay? Not a problem. Are we ready? So we're either going to go bent leg, straight leg, or somewhere in between. So we go singles for eight, seven, elbows are facing the rear, six, five, four, watch your hyper extend the elbows at the top, two, Hold, now down for two, up for two, down, down, lift, lift. Now you might need to come a little closer back to the chair because I don't want to see this. So keep, well we know the spine's not vertical, but you're aiming for that length to be maintained. Okay, come on, you've got two more rounds here. Down, down, lift, lift. One, two, lift, two. Last time. Now down for three, up for one. Down, two, three, power up. One, two, three, lift. Two to go. Just one, two, three, lift. Now, from this type, change. Down for one, up for three. Down, lift, two, three. Hold. Make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulder joint. One more for luck. <laughs> Hold on, and rest, excellent. Take a little shake out, did we feel that? I hope we felt that. Okay, quick little stretch up here. 
just drop that one arm down. So you can do this in seated, but I just come this way. You can lace the hand, fingertips. And then change. Remember, you can lace if you prefer. You can do this seated and just put it up the floor. And release. Excellent. Okay, keep the chair where it is. Excuse me. Grab that drink and then we're going into a little bit of core and floor work. Right. Now I'm hoping I'm going to come with you here. I'm not letting you know all of those comments. Okay. You're going to sit, if you like, in a mermaid position. So you're going to bring one leg in front, one leg to the side. Okay, so from here, your arm is in the chair, and we're going to lift, and we're going to lower. If this wasn't good, then you can have your arm out long, get rid of the chair, or your head into your hand like this on the floor. So otherwise, from this position, you're going to lift the leg. It's at an angle for one. Two, you're going to work these side glutes. Three, can we feel that? Four, and watch your knees are flipping up. So if you're balancing that tray. Six, what's happened here? Lift. Seven, hold. And we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Stay with it. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, now we need to take your leg back and centre it. Now flex your foot this time rather than have it pointed. You do this if you're on the floor as well. One, two, stay with this. Three, I'm hoping you're feeling this. Four, if not, just adjust your chair from that a little wider. Watch your shoulder alignment. Six, seven, back and hold. Pulse, two, three, stay with this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice work. And lower it down. Okay, take a little shake out. Now, whilst we're here, let's do this in a thigh one. <laughs> so, press your top leg, head into um, the hand, or you can go long, whichever you prefer. Okay, press down with your top leg, point your underneath leg. Now, watch your ankle doesn't flick up. Keep the line. Eight, let's work in a thigh. Seven, six, breathe. Four, three, Two, up and hold. Now flex the foot and pulse. Two, three. Stay with this. Four, five, six. Keep the lift. Eight. And release down. Excellent. Okay. We're going to change sides. So you can turn around. I'm just going to stay this way so I can see you all. Right. From here. Set up the shoulder alignment. Into mermaid legs. Unless you're going to go along on the floor or head into hand. That's five. Now, get that angle. So knee to hip. Don't let the knee lift, because it'll be only in the thigh. And if the knee drops, it'll be only quad. We want it side line. So restart, shoulder to pelvic line. Eight. Seven. So the legs on the slight diagonal. You're not bringing it right in line. Four. I hope we're feeling this. Three. Two. Up and hold. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flex the foot, press back. Eight, seven, like you're pushing into a heavy load. Six, without rolling the pelvis. Four, three, two, one. And pulse, keep the pulse. And release, good work. Okay, now let's come lengthen onto the side. Here we go. So press down into that top leg. And then we're gonna go lift for one, two, don't let the ankle flip. Three, four, five. I'm hoping you feel this in the inner thigh. Six. If you're not, make sure your knee isn't bending, you're only taking that leg, the underneath leg as high as you can without breaking that chain. So keep the length. Keep pressing down. Three, two, up and hold, flex the foot, let's pulse. Two, three, four, five, stay with it. Six, seven, eight. Good work. Okay, turn onto your back. 
little bit of hamstring work and for the back of the glutes. So position that chair so we're comfortable. I'm going to move that back slightly. Right. So from here, you're going to either have <coughs> the knees, excuse me, bent. So you're going to dig the heels in here. I want you to lift. And then you're going to lower. You're only lowering a little way down. So keep your alignment here. You're not sagging into the lower back or hyperextending. Pull your heels like they're going to come into the bottom. And then send your sitting bones as if they're going to touch your heels. This is where we're going to start. And then four. Three. Imagine you're holding that ball between the knees. Two. One. Don't let the knees open out to the side. Now, if you want more, you're going to lengthen. So you can have... More of the lower leg on the chair. Come down anyway if you're in a bent leg to have a rest. Or straight leg. Now we're going to do the same. So lift up. Now it's tiny. So we're going to do eight, seven, six. Stay with this. Five, four, breathe. Open. This is hip extension to access the strength in the glutes and the hamstrings. Hold. Now, even if you're on a bent leg, this is fine. So we're going to take the leg up, hold, and then you're going to flex. So you're going to do two. If you're on a bent leg, send it here. Okay, this would be an option. So you've probably got four to go. Three. Keep the pelvis level. Two. One. Switch legs. No rest yet. So we're doing eight. Modification of Pilates, shoulder bridge. One more. And then roll down. Okay, that shouldn't be in your back if it is, and you need to take that bent leg option next time so you, you work from here, yes? Okay, keeping those feet on the chair. Hands into the back of the head, thumbs down the side of the neck. Dig the heels in. So from here, lengthen that tailbone. You're going to breathe in, breathe out as you come up, inhale as you come down. So modification of chest lift, three, one more, now we're going to twist, take your right leg off the chair, turn, down, left leg, and breathe. Now if you want more, straighten the leg. So the leg can be straight. Four. Three. Two. Now you're going to go back to your first side. Go back to the right. Hold and twist. Now you're going to pulse. Pulse. Two. Three. Four. On a diagonal. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Other side. Pulse. Two. Three. Four. Breathe. Six. Seven, eight, and really stand. Just take a full body stretch. Okay, to lengthen out. Gonna slow that music down slightly. So a little stretch out, full body stretch, and just breathe into that. So you lengthen through the abdominals. Just release. Have a little stretch. Never find what I'm looking for when I want it. <laughs> okay. And then from here, you're going to come onto your tummies. You can bring your feet on the chair. You can bring your feet through the chair. I don't mind. This is fine. And then you're going to go into an extension here. So you're going to go into a sphinx pose if you like and lengthen. There, so pull yourself through. Good. Find that stretch. So we've worked the back of those glutes today, the sides, the back of the thighs, abdominal line. So normally it's 45 minutes, you don't spend long on each exercise. It can almost feel a little bit easier, that's why we pick up the pace slightly to get in that intensity and release. Tuck the toes, 
Press back into your child's pose and lengthen. Okay, now you're going to take the face of the chair if you're not already. You can do this one or two ways. So you're going to bring your right leg in front, lengthen your left leg behind. So we're going to do a modification of pigeon here. And you can obviously rest your head into your um, patterns. If the pigeon didn't suit you, hip and knee issues, not a problem. Keep your left leg out straight, cross your right leg over, and your left arm takes the hug. So just stay in either or. Okay, that's it, and feel that stretch. Now from here, you're going to bring your heel towards the, um, towards the groin a little bit more. I'll give you an option if you're doing a further stretch there with me. And you're going to see if you can take hold and then turn to face your chair. So you're going to get a quad stretch there. So hold that stretch. If you're on the floor um, and you cross your left leg over, whatever leg you cross over, do your stretch here. So you've got your quad stretch like this. So this option, or you can stay here and take hold. And release. Okay, hands in the chair on the floor. Watch you don't hit your head on the chair. Step up and back, lengthen. And then you're gonna bring your opposite leg through. So just lower the knees, bring your left leg through. Take your back leg away. Pigeon the opposite side. So take your foot away from the groin to start. So you've got that glute stretch. Or you might be in your seated position. Right leg, left leg is going to cross this time, sorry. <laughs> and then you hug with the right arm. So you're still going to get a stretch. So you choose where you need to go for yourself into that position. So whichever one, there's no right or wrong whatever suits you. So keep that stretch. Stretch out the glutes. Just melt into the stretch. And then take your front foot. You're going to have to bring it closer in so you can reach your back leg. Now just send your back knee away to the skirting board. Just square up towards your chair so you've got that deep stretch. Again, if you're not going to do that, no problem. Just come into, you can use the chair, the side stretch here for the thigh and the hip flexor, okay? So either or for those, so pigeon into swan, <coughs> excuse me, whichever one you prefer that suits you, stay with that, we're nearly there. And release, and then we're either going to bring the feet on the floor, and draw yourself down, or you're going to bring your feet on the chair and just take hold of that chair, watch it, you know, pull it over and lengthen into your stretch with the hamstrings. So it's ever and lengthen. And releasing. Just take the feet off the chair. Okay, roll to the side, tuck your toes, press back into your down facing dog. Now, we're just going to pedal push. So go with your pedal push. If that isn't good on your um, wrist, by the way. Stay in your forearms here and pedal push. So this is perfectly fine. You can go there too. Just work through the feet, lengthen and stretch. And then we're going to walk our hands back to our feet. Take your time rolling through the spine. Okay. Now you're going to feet face me into that parallel position. Take a breath in. Exhale, melt the shoulders. Inhale, side. Exhale, roll. So no matter how low you go, keep the pelvis level. Breathe in. Then move through your spine. Roll. And we're going to go the other way. Inhale. Exhale. 
breathe in, breathe out. Back to centre, open. Now turn the feet out, take a breath in, exhale, breathe, release. One more, breathe in, breathe out. 